Hey guys, it's Pastor Inez here. Welcome to Kids Club. I am going to introduce you to our memory verse. If you watched our Sunday service, then you know we started a new series called How to Train Your Emotions. It's all about how we can learn how to tame the emotions that we feel inside of us that sometimes are so big they can take us over. Well, instead of learning a new verse every week, we're going to work on our series verse for the next four weeks. That means you should really have it down by the time we're done. Let me introduce it to you now. I will be glad and full of joy because of you. Most high God, I will sing the praises of your name. Psalm 9-2. Why don't you go ahead and say it with me this time. I will be glad and full of joy because of you. Most High God, I will sing the praises of your name. Psalm 9-2 On Sunday, I gave you guys one way that we can help train our anger. When we're feeling angry, it can really help us to focus on God and how good He is, how He has taken care of us. This verse is saying that I can be glad and full of joy because of God. You guys, life is not always easy. People are not always kind. Things don't always go the way that we would want them to go. But we can still be glad and we can still be full of joy because of God. I want you to say this verse with me one more time. I will be glad and full of joy because of you. Most high God, I will sing the praises of your name. Psalm 9-2 Work on that verse, you guys, and like I said earlier, I know you're going to have it down so well at the end of these four weeks. Before we go, we're going to play a game and test our knowledge of the books of the Bible and where they are, in the Old Testament or the New Testament. Welcome to the Books of the Bible game, where you try to decide whether a book from the Bible is in the Old Testament or the New Testament. Let's give the books of the Bible wheel a spin. The first book is the book of Ruth. If you think the book of Ruth is in the Old Testament, then clap your hands. If you think the book of Ruth is in the New Testament, then make a bird noise. If you were clapping your hands, then you were right. The book of Ruth is in the Old Testament. Let's give the books of the Bible wheel another spin. It looks like this time the wheel landed on 1st and 2nd Timothy. If you think these books are in the Old Testament, wiggle your nose. If you think they're in the New Testament, pull on your ear. If you're pulling on your ear, then you're right. The books of 1st and 2nd Timothy are in the New Testament. Let's spin the wheel again. This time, the books of the Bible wheel landed on the Book of Judges. If you think the Book of Judges is in the Old Testament, then stick out your tongue. If you think the Book of Judges is in the New Testament, then scratch your head. If you were sticking out your tongue, then you were right this time. Judges is in the Old Testament. Let's see what book the wheel lands on next. It looks like this time, it's the book of Proverbs. If you think the book of Proverbs is an Old Testament book, then make a funny face. If you think it's a New Testament book, then rub your belly.
If you are making a funny face, then you're right. The book of Proverbs is in the Old Testament. Let's spin the wheel one more time. The last book that the books of the Bible wheel landed on is Hebrews. If you think Hebrews is in the Old Testament, touch your nose. If you think the book of Hebrews is in the New Testament, roar like a lion. If you roared like a lion, then you are correct. The book of Hebrews is in the New Testament. Thanks for playing the books of the Bible game. Come and play again soon. Well, thank you so much for joining me tonight, you guys. I hope you're all doing well and you're staying safe and healthy. And I'll see you next time. Bye.